One of the principles that I come back to every single year on defense whenever I'm trying to figure out how to play good defense is make it look the same. And in today's video, we're going to show you one of my favorite defenses in Madden 24 right now, and that is this double safety walk down dollar defense. If you want to get my full ebook on this, that not only teaches the pressure setups, but also teaches the coverages and how to adjust to the best formations in the game, you can get all of those at my ebook site. That link's going to be down in the description. The cool part about that site is it's going to be for both Madden and for NCAA or college football, so you get access to that for pretty much everything. The other thing about that is it doesn't just cover this year's Madden. It covers all of the Maddens. Um, really been doing this since I think Madden uh, 21. So if you guys want to check that out, link is going to be down in the description. So again, the reason I like this defense is because there's so much we can do from a disguise perspective. We can, uh, we, we, we can truly make the defense look the same. So what do I mean by making the defense look the same? Right there, we did a send five pressure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a coverage defense and it's going to look exactly the same so they cannot tell if we are in a maximum coverage defense or if we are in a maximum pressure defense to me this is one of the biggest tips that i could possibly give you as you see we get the interception there in terms of defense you want all of your defenses to look identical which is why base align has been one of the best methods for years in terms of making everything look identical now, what we're going to be running today is we're going to be running tight slots halfback week on the offensive side of the ball. If you guys want to get access to my full tight slots halfback week offensive ebook, I will put a link in that to or a link to that in the description as well. You get all of the ebooks by becoming a member of the site. So you get literally everything for just 10 bucks. And again, that link will be down in the description. So we are going to start out here running a little bit of bunch just to try to get on a different hash mark because I did not come out in the right uh, the right hash. So we'll see if we can just get a just get a basic dot here to this tight end on the corner, and then we should be good to go. So the way you want to run tight slots halfback week is you want to run this with your you want to come out in wide side bunch and then audible into tight is is really the best method for this. And in my opinion, the best play from this formation is this play flood. There's a lot of different combos you can do from this, but this play flood just gives you so many quick options and it really does isolate key defenders. Tight Thoughts Halfback Week to me is the most, I'm trying to think how to word this, it's the offense that I like the most in, in terms of just, it's a simple and effective offense that a lot of people underrate at this point in the year. This is, to me, tight slots really never went away. It's just people kind of went back to bunch. But I think tight slots is so, so, so effective. And the cool part about it is there's so many ways to run this formation. Like, there truly is. You can run – it's really it's, – it's amazing against man coverage. This is why this was the best offense last year. It is unbelievably effective against man-to-man -man coverage, which forces your opponent into zone coverage. And typically, the only zone coverage that really is going to give this formation any challenges whatsoever is a really good double Mabel coverage with the right adjustments behind it. But the tight slots formation, where it's a little bit different than some of the other tights, it just has a lot of combos that can really manipulate cover too. So, because you have that play flood, you have all these post routes that are super, super good. So, I think my personal opinion is Madden 24 tight slots halfback week is the most underrated offense in this game. Uh, 100%. It's really good, and uh, I, I think more people should be in it. All right, so back to defense. Again, making everything look the same. So now, check out the defense we're in. Now we're in a man-to-man -man blitz. So we're in a send five, man-to-man -man pressure. They're going to block. Okay, we actually got dotted up. But again, you see how we're, dis we're able to disguise? That's the biggest thing that I could give you is like, he doesn't ever know. He doesn't ever know what we're doing. So like here, now we're going to go to a max coverage defense. And the cool part about this max coverage defense is we have – I'm able to one side, a cover three to the other side, so we're really protected. The other thing that's really good about this formation is that the fact that, and you see there, you just kind of throw something up. Um, the fact that the safeties are in the box helps with a couple of things. In Madden, specifically this year's Madden, and really every Madden that's been on uh, next gen, so to speak, this has been kind of a common theme, is having your safeties in the box and really your corners off of the ball. 
because when your corners are off the ball, they can be in thirds. They can they can it, it inc they can be in more zones. Pressed cloud flats for the last three years have been terrible. Uh, at least for the last two years, have been absolutely terrible. So that's that's one of the reasons why you know I think this is a really really valuable uh, little little principle to to uh, to live by. So again, here if we want to if we want to run the ball to the, if we want to call this formation to the right hash. All we have to do is just flip the bunch, and then we're able to have it. There's so many combos you can do out of this formation. I think so many people just sleep on this. I mean, this is like this is a great. This is basically Durham. You know, if you think about how this play practically is going to work for you, and I'm going to get actually bagged. There's so many things you can do out of tight slots, and it's so simple, but it's so good against man. Like, they'll never be able to call man coverage. Literally, never be able to call man coverage on you. And they really can't call cover three, cover four, which is what a lot of people want to call this year. They want to call cover three or cover four pressed, and they want to try to rely on those deep outside quarters to play a lot of different things. That's not going to really work well with, with this formation here. Go to post will drag. Let's see if we can hit this tight end corner. Uh-oh, I might throw a pick. Actually throw a laser. Really nice, really, really nice. So now we're over here, so we can go to this. This also features, um, in my opinion, I think tight specifically features one of the best red zone setups in the game, Just something like this. See how wide open that running back is? Boom. So uh, as you see, I mean, tight slots is, dude, this tight slots formation is so good. Like, people have, tr I just feel like people have really slept on it. You've seen... And some people have ran it in comp. The, the best player that I saw in it was Gabigol at the beginning of the year. He was running this. And, and uh, we'll jump into another game and talk a little bit more about Gab. All right. So the best player that I saw run tight slots this year was Gabigol. Um, he ran this in the ultimate kickoff tournament. I actually think his offense was truly unbelievably good. And I think it's still – I mean, I don't run it exactly the same as he does. He does a lot more motion out of the running back for different things mainly to manipulate man-to-man. -man. Now that we're in more of a zone meta, there's just – you don't need to motion that running back out a lot, I don't think. But this this formation is just it's, – it's just set up so well. Like, you have a tight end on the right, you have a running back on the left, so you can block pretty much every blitz that you ever want to block. This formation, this tight slots formation, will literally always be a good formation to Madden. It really will. All right, so here we got a full four-down lineman set. we got that corner on the left side. We'll just throw right at him. Boom. Duke inside, and we'll get rolling. The other cool part about this that a lot of people don't talk about is because of the way the formation is laid out, you have um, – it's really good with conductor because when you audible, you get about two to three hot routes. So you go one hot route, two hot routes, and then if I really wanted to, I could do, you know, four basically by the time we get all the way over here and set up and you see how good this is this corner route out of flood especially now that people really figured out how to throw it like you want to free form it up and outside you want to catch it uh and, and and i know it sounds simple but if you don't do that if you don't free form it right then like f more sideline-y then it it won't be open right it won't be open at all but tight slots is so good you see i mean it's just it's just picking this guy apart the other cool part is you can. there's a lot of setups you can do with like a block tight end like this. Boom. Juke out. Almost got in there. So now we're wide side, which is not really what we want to do. So we're going to go to this setup. Boom. Boom. I right, see. I mean, just kind of a fun little offense. I mean, it's, it's really – and, and I think it's a top-tier offense. I think the, the thing with Bunch is – you, it does not have the best bunch. It is the, the bunch is not as good as – the bunch is certainly not as good as the Colts bunch. But if you take into consideration the fact that you have this really powerful formation in tight slots and you do have some good plays from bunch, like you have verticals, you have – I believe you have curl flat. I know you have corner out dig, but you have a cur curl flat. You have smash return, dig return, uh, PA dig fork, I believe. Like, you have some pretty good uh, bunch plays as well. So 
it's not a terrible bunch. It's just not the best bunch, which is why most people, and this year for sure, bunch was super good. So, all right, so he's going to come out in this uh, single back wing slot. Again, we're going to be kind of sticking with this idea. But, again, the biggest thing I want you to see here is how we can make every single defense look identical. I think that is so important. We got vanguards. We got the fridge. And I might have to go to 6-1, but it's the, same, uh, it's the same principle. It's just the idea is make every single thing look the same, which, which a lot of people uh, just don't do. Now, we, we defend wing slot a little bit different. So just based on the way he's playing, I might go to 6-1 here. Um, we do defend wing slot a little bit differently than we defend like bunch because of the threat of the run. But if this was, you know, if this was a, f a passing set, pretty much every passing set, it's like you'll see right here, we are going to do this, which we're just basically we're just using the backside. We're just using the backside. All right, that's the idea. These vanguards are so silly. We're just trying to stop the stretch. That's all we're trying to do. Make him have to pass. We got Vanguard. This is just a nasty time to be playing Madden, boys. This is just a nasty, 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 nasty time. So we're just trying to kind of contain the run a little bit. That's all we're trying to do. Be great if we could tackle. Be great. Be fantastic. All right, if he runs no huddle the entire way down the field, that is going to be character flaws there we go he got seven yards out of that he got six yards out of that isn't that crazy and I'm not really sweating like honestly like if he wants to this, if, if this is the offense this is the offense I'm not like this is not a big deal like there's ways to when it comes down on the second drive there'll be stuff we can do to stop it I'm just but you see the other thing you might notice right there so he gets fatigued Okay, so now I'm already like, okay, this is how you're going to play. We're going to go to this. And the way this is going to work um, is we're going to be able to, for the most part, should be able to stop this. Let's see if we can. Yep. He actually missed his bubble screen. He had the bubble screen, too. I'm trying to think a little bit. We're going to have to go zero yard, curl flats, 30 here, and then we're going to go 4-3, blitz, contain. Yeah. Now we just have to stop the stretch. Very good. Very good. Very good. There we go. So, yeah, I mean, and this formation is actually so much better whenever they, whenever they uh, pass. Whenever they do the rollout passing, it makes the formation so good because the rollout – the rollout aspect of this offense to me is is really the harder thing to stop. But his quarterback is not – I don't think Justin Herbert's 99 speed, so he's not going to be rolling out a lot. I need to put uh, – where's Bo Jackson at? I have Bo Jackson in the wrong position. I need uh, – I'm not set up. It's all right. Stop, just stopped the run. Now he took away his little his little glowing X factor. Somehow he's still breaking a billion tackles. Oh, I forgot he has he has it in the. Uh, that's kind of frustrating. And my buttons froze and he scored. <laughs> All right. Well, that's fine. I mean, that literally has shown me nothing offensively, so I'm not worried about that. We'll be able to get a stop eventually. I just have to get my players in the right positions. So I need Bo Jackson here. And I got my Lotta. I need this to be a Chanel, Randall, and then I got Chase Young. I was literally just telling myself, you need to put more secure tacklers on your field. So we just got to keep scoring, but we got tight slots, boys. We got tight slots. I think tight slots is super good. I think flood is like – I think flood makes tight slots 
unbelievably good. I don't think you want to run. You can run tight slots without flood, but the, you can't hot route this post that you have in flood. It's a deep post that will bomb cover two. So that's why it's a really good combo. If they start, if he, because, because eventually, because the thing that can give this formation heart a little bit of trouble is a cover two. Oh, you see here. But he, if he's run, if he runs cover three, he just literally fundamentally cannot stop this formation. Uh, this formation, there's too much stuff open. I can call flood every play. And if you notice, the other thing that's interesting is you're flipping. It's in a, in a way, see how there, see how he calls that, but he doesn't really call it a half. In a way, what you're also doing with Flood, which is why it's such a good play, your, your slot receiver is on the left. He immediately flips. So if they're in a nickel set, like he's a nickel, big nickel, he has to flip. He doesn't flip. Now I have a significant advantage over here to this side, right? That's a real, really, that's a really big key. Now he's running just enough cover two that I kind of want to try, uh, try this. So we're going to throw this and uh, see how this works for us. Let's see here. He actually runs cover. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, so you notice how – so another thing that he's starting to do, uh, which is important as well to, to talk talk about, is he is – he's – so basically this combo would be really good for what he's doing. Because now, what do we what are, think about this rope practically? Who are we attacking? We're really looking at that corner to the right. If that corner bails, the drag will be open for us. If the corner goes to the, there you go. So you see, if the corner was to sit on the drag, then the deeper corner would be open uh, for a really, really big play. So you can see how you can just really isolate certain, I think you can just put stress on certain points that makes it really hard to guard this formation because this formation is, is one of those formations to me that can truly manipulate and attack the whole field. Um, you're really able to attack the entire entirety of the field with this offense. Please don't lag out. Let's go. Just let's just play. Come on. Let's just play. Maybe. No, nope, he's out of here. All right, boys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my full tight slots ebook or all the defensive stuff, links gonna be down in the description.